More local news now. A crash to a car in half this morning. Debris spread all over 71st Street near Lloyd. Part of the car hit the house. Michelle Fiore is live with more on this story. Incredible, Michelle. It definitely is incredible, Carol. Look at behind me. This is where the crash scene was. It has since been cleared, but the people who live in this house still have plenty to repair. A muffler flew into their siding, and debris nearly took down their second floor porch. It's the worst car accident I've ever seen, and it, to have it happen in my front yard was pretty crazy. The Saddlers woke up to this. A car hit a pole and a tree. It split in two. Police estimate the car was going 65 miles an hour down a street where people ride bikes and children play. Luckily, we were in the back of the house um, and weren't up in the living room right up in front. So you just feel real fortunate and things like this. So. Debris flew through the air, hitting the Saddler's balcony so hard it was knocked off its pillar, shaking some nerves. Part of the muffler stuck in the side of the house. I got out here first and I tried to back my mom up a little bit just so she wouldn't come and see it. It all started at East High School where police say the driver of the silver car got into a fender bender but fled. The other driver gave chase trying to catch a license plate number. We're several blocks from that fender bender and the chase was still on. A witness here reported seeing that car speeding in excess of 65 miles per hour past Washington Elementary School. The driver is a 20-year-old man. He was ejected from the car. Neighbors found a college theater textbook near the wreck. No, he was not responsive. He was breathing, but um, we just stayed with him until the ambulance got there. Police say the driver was taken to Freightert. He's in critical condition tonight. Live in Wauwatosa, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. All right, Michelle, thanks.